Hey Hot Pockets, it's me Keisha aka Color Me Pink and I'm here with a new behind the scenes tea video. So we've all heard rumblings about another Basketball Wives franchise kicking off and that will be Basketball Wives Orlando. Well, it is in fact true. The ladies were recently spotted uh, filming the opener for the show and the entire cast has finally been revealed. So I'm going to break down to you guys who exactly has been casted for Basketball Wives Orlando. There will be nine Basketball Wives, nine of them, okay, nine. Let's get into it. Let's go. First up, we have Ashley Snell and really cute girl, loving that Birkin, honey. Yes, ma'am. So I'm on her Instagram page right now, and she has an athleisure line called Ashley, Ashley Snail Collection, and it goes from size extra small to 4XL. Okay, size inclusive. I'm loving it. So if you're looking for some cute look everyday athleisure wear, you can check her out. She is married. She's been married since, oh, my birthday. Hey, she got married on my birthday, August 21st, 2020. So three years, she has been married to her husband, Tony Snell Jr., who was drafted to the Chicago Bulls in 2013. Um, it seems like since then, he's played for the NBA G League, uh, playing for the Maine Celtics and New Mexico Lobos. They have two children together, it seems, and they seem like they have a really nice life. On his page, I see that he is spreading autism awareness. I don't know if one of their children, oh, it is, yep. So on his page, their son was diagnosed with autism. So I guess we'll see that journey of them, you know, being able to help their son and raise awareness for autism for other children. So they seem like they have a really solid, beautiful uh, marriage and family. Now, y'all let me know if y'all got any tea on any of these new basketball wives, because it's only... I think one that I no two that I actually know of. Everybody else is fairly new to me. Next up, we have Danielle Miller, another really cute girl. She looks like she's fairly young. On her Instagram page, she has a link to another um, Instagram page titled Empowered by Danielle, but the I guess whatever this business is, isn't up and running. Maybe that'll be a part of her storyline. She has two children, a cute little boy and a cute little girl. There's no sign of who the father is. I don't believe she's married. Her and the father might not even be with each other, but I'm assuming it's somebody that was in the league at some point. But she's a really cute little young girl or whatever. I don't, she gives me very sweet and innocent, but you know, looks can be very deceiving. Our third cast member is Lindsay Cherry Marble. She says that she's a wellness enthusiast, WMU alumni, licensed esthetician, and she has a organic vegan skincare titled Fruitful Skin. She actually has the um, Instagram page up with the products and the web page is up. So she does have a business going for herself. Okay, Miss Mamas, I see you. Now, I don't know, it's something about her that's going to give me messy <laughs> as I'm going through her Instagram pictures. She seemed like she a cut a bee. She seemed like she came from the hood and, you know, then glowed up and got some money. But she seemed like she a fight you. Now, uh, I don't think she'll be boomboxing nobody anytime soon because she's pregnant. It's what I'm assuming is her first child okay congratulations to her she and her husband were married um in 2019 her wedding was featured on say yes to the dress 
And I guess that her husband, I do not know his name. I'm thinking that he plays, you know, uh, basketball out of the country. But they seem like a really cute, happy couple. And once again, congratulations on her first baby. Then we have Mackenzie Hyatt. And on her Instagram, she has a business coming as well called Minkzy or Mackenzie, but it's spelled M I N K Z I E, Minkzy. I don't know what this is going to be. Uh, it looks like it's going to be some type of like fashion line or something like that. But she's a very pretty girl. She kind of gives me a little um, Emily, fabulous uh, ex-wife, a little bit of Lauren London up in there. Really cute girl. She seems like she was out here in these streets <laughs> at some point. Um, no sign of her children's father on her page, so they must not be together anymore. But she does have two children. Her kids are really cute. She seems like she's going to be like the sweet and innocent type. But it's going to be running back telling everybody what everybody said. And that's what's going to get her caught up. But we shall see. Y'all know Miss Megan James from Bad Girls Club and Basketball Wives LA. Now she will be on Basketball Wives Orlando. She recently um, has a podcast called The Hollywood Group Chat, where she's had some very viral interviews. You know, Megan has figured out a way to keep herself relevant throughout the years. Really cute girl. We know she's not afraid to throw them hands and she can throw them hands. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Megan's going to stir up on this show and who she's going to be cool with and who she's not going to be cool with because we've known Megan not to ever like really keep no friends. <laughs> Megan always been a loner and a rider. Like she ain't never really had no click for real. Then we have Morgan Bledsoe. Um, she has mother to E E E. I don't know what that is. Uh, there's no signs of any kids on her Instagram page, but I don't know. No sign of a man who she was linked to. So I guess we'll find that out on the show. She goes from ATL to Florida and, uh, she is very, very pretty. She seemed like she was a hot girl. She seemed like she'd be out here in these streets, you know, trying to get a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Um, there is a photograph of her last year uh, sitting courtside at a basketball game. Don't know who she was there for. But she looked like she going to be trouble. Yeah, she looked like she going to be trouble. She looked like she got it. You know who she reminds me of as I'm going through her pictures? Camilla. Camilla from Bad Girls Club. That's what she reminds me of. So I think that we're going to have a problem out of Miss Morgan. Surprisingly, we'll have our first female basketball player <laughs> on the show. I'm liking that, that they're adding in actual female basketball athletes into the equation. Now, I'm wondering if one of these ladies will be her girlfriend, because I do remember hearing that there was going to be a couple on the show, if I'm not mistaken, or our first just basketball player herself. But this young lady's name is Mulan Hernandez. She plays for the Rockets. She's the owner of Villain Era, which is another brand that I guess is coming soon. Everybody got a brand coming soon. She's a Fashion Nova brand ambassador. She has 1 million subscribers. Very cute girl, like really cute, like baby. <laughs> hello, Mulan. Child, she could get me <laughs> and I don't even swing that way, but hello. Now I like to me a girl that can do both. You see her, you know, in her uniform. Then you see her outside of the uniform. You know, very cute girl. Fashions is on point. Don't know if she's a lesbian or not. I don't see a sign of a, a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend on her page. So we don't know what her orientation is, but whatever it is, she's gorgeous. And I think that she's going to go far on this show. I really do. Cause I'm loving the fact that we have a girl on here that actually hoops and looks this great. Neek is up next and she seems like she's a fairly tall statuesque woman okay girl 
Yeah, she got some height on her, honey. Um, yeah, she looked like she can fight. <laughs> I hope she ain't tall and big for nothing, child. I'm on her Instagram page, and the fashions is on point. I'm liking her style. You know, cute girl. Um, She does have a child. This is her son. No sign of who the father is on the page. Don't seem like they're together. But uh, she's a mom, and she's giving, you know, sex pot video vixen vibes. There's no... Uh, information on her page of what she does for a living but I guess once again we'll find out on the show and then we have Nikki Nicole who we all know from Black Ink Crew Chicago she was Four's ex-girlfriend she does hair I guess she's uh well actually it says that she lives in Atlanta Georgia so I don't understand how she's going to be on uh Basketball Wives Orlando but whatever um Nikki herself is a very tall statuesque um, young lady, we know that she ain't got no problems with throwing hands either. Nikki is very mouthy, has no problem speaking up for herself. You know, I just did a video on her a few weeks back where she was making some really nasty derogatory um, statements about for sexuality, calling him the F word and all of these different things, which was just so ugh. Um, and I think that those words will come back to bite her eventually, but yeah, I want to see who she's going to be cool with, who she's not going to be cool with. I wonder, will her and Megan get along with each other or nah? I'm loving, though, that with this cast, we have such a unique group of women. We have women that look to be, like, in their 20s to early to mid-30s, which I'm loving. And I'm loving the fact that we just have an all-new cast of women that we can grow and get to know because we've been seeing the same basketball wives from L.A. for the last 11, 12 years, and it's so tired and played out. So I'm looking forward to Basketball Wives Orlando coming on. I'm guessing that it'll be on probably within like the next two months or so. I will be doing reviews. Once again, y'all let me know if y'all know any tea on these girls, they baby daddies, what's going on. If y'all know any, hit me up. Um, make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell button. I love you and I will see you on the next video. Bye.